Paragonimiasis, Wikipedia article audio. Paragonimiasis is a foodborne parasitic infection caused by the lung fluke, most commonly Paragonimus westermani. It infects an estimated 22 million people yearly worldwide. It is particularly common in East Asia. More than 30 species of trematodes of the genus Paragonimus have been reported, among the more than 10 species reported to infect humans, and only 8 bringing about infections in humans, the most common is P. westermani, the oriental lung fluke. Life Cycle Background Geographic Distribution Symptoms and Diagnosis Treatment The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has a detailed description and an explanatory image of the Paragonimus life cycle. The eggs of the Paragonimiasis are excreted unembryonated in the sputum, or alternately they are swallowed and passed with stool. In the external environment, the eggs become embryonate and myricidia hatch and seek the first intermediate host, a snail, and penetrate its soft tissues. Myricidia go through several developmental stages inside the snail, sporocysts and reedii, with the latter giving rise to many cercarii, which emerge from the snail. The cercarii invade the second intermediate host, a crustacean such as a crab or crayfish where they insist and become metacercari. This is the infective stage for the mammalian host. Human infection with P. westermani occurs by eating inadequately cooked or pickled crab or crayfish that harbor metacercari of the parasite. The metacercari exist in the duodenum, penetrate through the intestinal wall into the peritoneal cavity, then through the abdominal wall and diaphragm into the lungs where they become encapsulated and develop into adults. The worms can also reach other organs and tissues, such as the brain and striated muscles, respectively. However, when this takes place completion of the life cycles is not achieved, because the eggs laid cannot exit these sites. Time from infection to oviposition is 65 to 90 days. Infections may persist for 20 years in humans. Animals such as pigs, dogs, and a variety of feline species can also harbor P. westermani. The first human case was seen in 1879 in Taiwan. An autopsy was done and adult trematodes were found in the lungs. The adult flukes have a reddish-brown in color with an ovoid-like shape. They have two muscular suckers, the first an oral sucker located anteriorly and the second a ventral sucker located mid-body. The adult flukes can live up to 20 years. The eggs are golden brown in color and are asymmetrically ovoid. They have a very thick shell. As seen above, these trematodes have a very complex life cycle with seven distinct phases involving intermediate hosts and humans. These seven phases are outlined as follows, eggs reach fresh water where they develop into myricidia. These penetrate many species of aquatic snails where they go through three distinct stages. The first being sporocysts, the second being reedii, and the third being cercarii also referred to as the larvae. These larvae released into water and penetrate crabs, crayfish, and other crustaceans. The cercarii situate themselves into the gills, liver, and muscles where they further develop into metacercari. When the parasite-filled crustacean is eaten, the metacercari hatch in the intestine. These young worms penetrate intestinal wall, peritoneum, the diaphragm, and the pleura where they finally reach the lungs. Here they live in pairs, lay eggs that are coughed up in sputum to restart the cycle. There are more than 30 known species of Paragonimus. 
Species of Paragon Imus are widely distributed in Asia, Africa, and North and South America. Paragon Imus westermani is found in Southeast Asia and Japan, while Paragon Imus calicati is endemic to North America. Paragon Imus africanus is found in Africa and Paragon Imus mexicanus is found in Central and South America. Just as the species imply, Paragonimiasis is more prominent in Asians, Africans, and Hispanics because of their region and cultures. Prominence increases with age from older children to young adults then decreases with age. It is also higher among the female populations. This is a very common parasite of crustacean-eating mammals. The acute phase may be marked by diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, cough, urticaria, hepatosplenomegaly, pulmonary abnormalities, and eosinophilia. During the chronic phase, pulmonary manifestations include cough, expectoration of discolored sputum containing clumps of eggs, hemoptysis, and chest radiographic abnormalities. Extrapulmonary locations of the adult worms result in more severe manifestations, especially when the brain is involved. Diagnosis is based on microscopic demonstration of eggs in stool or sputum, but these are not present until two to three months after infection. Concentration techniques may be necessary in patients with light infections. Biopsy may allow diagnostic confirmation and species identification when an adult or developing fluke is recovered. Paragonimiasis can commonly be misdiagnosed as tuberculosis. The drug of choice to treat paragonimiasis is praziquantel, although bithionol may also be used.